You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your GH promo for the big cliffhanger episode on Friday, July 28th, 2023. There are eight big scenes in this promo. We're going to break it down for you. We're going to tell you what's happening, and then we're going to tell you the official spoilers that go hand in hand with it to kind of give you some more context for what is happening on here. All right. So we're going to dig right in to the first scene. This is Molly. Lansing and Christina Corinthos and the official spoiler says that Christina visits Molly. Christina says, I've just been fooling myself this whole time. I don't know if she's talking about her charity thing or maybe she's talking about I don't even know why I've been fooling myself that you'd want me to be your surrogate. I don't know. It looks like the actress who who is in the role of Molly now, Brooke Ann Smith, I have to wonder, has she really broken her, her leg, ankle, or foot? Because it doesn't make any sense to have her there in this walking cast unless the actress actually did something. So maybe she got recast and then hurt herself, and that's what we're seeing now. But we do have spoilers for the following week about Molly and TJ making a big decision about their life. So I definitely feel like this surrogacy thing is going forward. And this conversation might be an important part of Molly opening up to the idea with Christina. All right, the second scene is Trina with Joss. Trina's saying, I get a feeling that something else is going on. And the spoiler is that Trina advises Joss. So I don't know if Joss is telling her about stuff with Dex. I mean, Dex is telling Joss a whole lot of mob stuff. And if Joss is then going and telling Trina mob stuff, that's weird. And I definitely feel like Joss and Trina are also going to spend some time talking about Esme because Joss is hot on her case and is watching her. So this is kind of bizarre. And I'm I'm sure that Trina is going to talk to her about Curtis too. And maybe that's what Trina is talking about with, with Joss. Maybe she is saying that, you know, there's something else going on with my bio dad. We'll see. Then we have Esme talking to Spencer, and they are at the the mayor's penthouse. And Esme says, do you think it's a bad sign that you haven't heard from her? Clearly, she's talking about his grandma, Laura Spencer. And the good news is we do have scenes of Laura and Valentine on Friday, and there's a little clip of them in the promo. And it's the very next scene. We have Laura and Valentine, and Laura says, we're looking for someone. The official spoiler is that Laura and Valentine are on the hunt. So they are over in Chechnya, Russia. They are trying to find this Cassadine property. So I'm not entirely clear who they're looking for when I thought they were looking for a piece of property. I don't know. It's very strange. All right. There are four more scenes left in this promo. We're going to unpack them for you. But if you haven't already, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our GH updates. If you hit the bell, you'll get a notification when there's a new video ready. All right. The next scene is Nina Reeves talking to Michael Corinthos, and she says, are you open to that too? And perhaps she's asking him more about being open to her being around more, her being around Wiley more. It should be very interesting. There's not an official spoiler for this. Then we have Carly talking to someone unseen, and she says, I'll take that as a win. And the only official spoiler for Friday having to do with Carly is that Michael and Carly catch up. So maybe Nina, you know, on had this thing with Carly on Thursday, which for me was a very weird encounter where Nina is like thanking her because she assumes that Willow has included her in the bubble because Carly has backed off this vendetta. And instead, Carly basically says, I double down and I'm going to take everything back. Well, a lot of fans noted this and commented, and I agree that Nina already offered Carly back the Metricourt. She already offered it to her and Carly basically spit in her face about it. And she lost Sunny, but now she's saying she loves Drew. So she's going to get back everything she lost. Is she talking about getting back with Sunny and betraying Drew while he's in Pentonville paying for her crime? I mean, that's kind of crazy. And then, cause Nina even asked, is that a threat? And she was like, yeah, kind of. And, uh, 
the only thing realistically that can really be put on Nina taking from Carly is Sonny by keeping the fact that he was alive hidden. But I want to remind y'all that back when they were in Nixon Falls, Nina called to tell Carly that Sonny was alive. And before she could get it out of her mouth, Carly was crapping on her. She was crapping on her and Nina just was like, fine. And she ended the call. She called to do the right thing. And Carly did her, her nasty bossy capital B thing that she does. And that was why she didn't tell her. That doesn't excuse Nina keeping it quiet. Absolutely not. It is Nina's fault. I think that Sonny and Carly are together. I can certainly agree with that. But Carly's attitude in every scene lately is just aggressive. And Carly being Carly, and Carly's been this way a long time, I mean, she is just, and it's one of those things, if you are just one of those fans of Carly to the extreme that you think that everything she says is okay and right, then you're not going to see it. But for me, I think she's needlessly aggressive with a lot of people, and I think she could find some chill. So... With her saying she'll take this as a win, I wonder if she hears from Michael that he kind of rejected Nina on whatever she's asking. But that scene with Carly, I'm going to take everything back. Take what back? The $5 million SEC fine and losing the Metro Court were down to her insider trading. Now, the fine is because she got reported, but just because Nina... If Nina hadn't reported them, they still might have been caught for it because Ned had mentioned it. It was a clear and obvious case of insider trading. So this is just all and messy. All right. The seventh scene, we have an irate Ava saying to Sonny, this is how you take care of it. And the official spoiler is that Ava has new reason to worry. So I think... When she confided in Sonny and he's like, I'm going to take care of everything, I think she thought he meant, I'm going to take care of everything today. (laughs) He can't. He's got to do some research. He's got to figure stuff out. He's got to figure out who's in charge, who's the one holding her mom. This is not an instant overnight thing, but I think she's stressing over being stuck with this crazy nanny that slapped her in the face. The final scene is Dante talking to someone unseen, and he says, I miss you. It's very hard to tell from this, this, the snippet of the scene if Dante is maybe at GH or if he is maybe in the interrogation room at the PCPD. I wonder, I wonder if Dante has gone over to see Curtis and wants to talk to him about the Selena Wu stuff because of what Cody told him. That's what I wonder, but it's just not very clear. It's a very vague spoiler, so we're just going to have to wait and see how it plays out on General Hospital's Friday, July 28th cliffhanger episode. If you enjoyed this breakdown, we love it. We'd love if you clicked us a like. We love your comments. Drop us comments. We are just about to show you the promo. If you haven't already, we'd love it if you click subscribe so you don't miss any updates. And now, buckle up. Here is your General Hospital promo for Friday, July 28th. I have just been fooling myself this whole time. I get a feeling that something else is going on. Do you think it's a bad sign that you haven't heard from her? We're looking for someone. Are you open to that, too? I'll take that as a win. This is how you take care of it? I miss you. 